Hey YouTube, here I'm going to be doing a diorama update. Uh, now, this is going to be, I believe, update number 5 for the intersection reconstruction diorama. So, uh, last time, in uh, update number 4, I guess it would be, um, I had said that there was probably only going to be one more part and that was for the traffic light, but as you can see, the traffic light has not really changed. So, obviously, this isn't going to be the last part. Um, there will probably be one or two more after this one. But if you recall last time, in uh, update number four, I also said that depending on how long it takes to do this traffic light or whatever, and how bored I am, I might go ahead and mess with the landscape a little bit. And so that's what I went ahead and did in the box to closest to me on the uh, um, left. Wow, that was kind of sad. Um, couldn't think of my directions for a second. Anyway, um, so these boxes remain the same. I might end up doing something with them eventually, but this is the box that changed right here. So you can see I took a big rock from outside and I put it in. You know, I fixed all the dirt around it so it looks looks nicer. I put some grass in some pockets on there where I thought it looked kind of realistic. And in those little grass pockets, I took um, trees and I put them down. A little bit of scenic cement so that they stick. I mean, they're not just balancing. They're, they're on there good. So, uh, I mean, they're not going to fall over. So... And I think it adds a realistic touch uh, because, you know, not everywhere is the ground flat. And especially around where I live in uh, New York, uh, not the city, but just above the city, you know, it's very hilly. There's a lot of, you know, big rock faces and stuff like that. And I thought this uh, is a little bit more it resembles that look a little bit more and as you know uh, my collection is based off of a real company I try to base my scenes and dioramas off of uh, things that that company would do and because they work around here you know if the terrain looks like it it should you know it's a little bit more realistic so I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down for a second because I'm gonna grab something and I'll probably edit this out, but anyway, let me just pop the screen up there so I can see what I'm looking at, and uh, I'll edit this out. Alright guys, so basically this isn't perfect, but because in my stop motions I would have these boards, these blue boards propped up behind, um, I wanted to go ahead and put them up. Uh, they're not really in a permanent position, so they're not exactly perfect, but uh, this is somewhat how it would look from, you know, a ground view. Again, I'm just holding the boards right now, so it's not exactly what it's going to look like because these boards are going to be propped up here a lot better. There's not going to be a crack in between them. Um, and I can't exactly see what you're looking at too good because I'm behind the boards holding them and the camera's facing the opposite way. Um, but hopefully you can see the rock fairly well. Let me just fix these trees I knocked over. Can I reach that one? Yeah. Alright. And uh, fix the gravel a little bit. But, uh... I'm going to try to take a peek at what the camera's looking at, but I don't know if I can get over there and hold these boards. Um, yeah, I guess you can see it fairly well. That's kind of what it would look like from ground level. But anyway, um, there, face that board again so I can take these down. And, uh, Basically, that's what I've done. 
So uh, I just wanted to give you guys a look at that. I might mess a little bit, like I said, with the train and some of the other little squares I have, but uh, or rectangles, I guess. But that's really about it. Um, so again, maybe one or two more updates, but I uh, just wanted to show you what I've done. So thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, get another update to you guys soon.